most of the times tumejikuta ya kwamba tunasema mambo ambayo tugetaka ya kuja kutendeka katika maisha yetu we want to declare things ambao tugetaka zikuja kutendeka katika maisha yetu katika maisha ya watoto wetu katika maisha ya biashara zetu lakini nikasema kwa kugudua kupitia kwa maandiko ya kwamba kama roho mtakatifu hayuko mahali pale wakati tunaponena ukweli ni ya kwamba maneno yale hayataweza kutendeka because our words are activated by the holy spirit of god maneno yote ambayo tunayo yasema haleluya ili yaweze kutenda kazi ili yaweze kuumba kile ambacho hakije ubinka ili yaweze kututegenezea jia maneno ya kinywa chetu tukiyasema lazima tuhakikishe ya kwamba the holy spirit of god is present if the holy spirit of god is absent the truth is hakuna jambo litatendeka when we talk of understanding tunaongea juu ya mtu ambaye anaelewa na mambo sio tu ambao mambo yanahusiana na Mungu hata mambo inahusiana na dunia hii and it is the only power of the holy spirit that can enlighten our eyes tufike kile kiwango cha juu cha kuelewa mambo it is when our knowledge praise the name of the lord imefunguliwa kupitia kwa roho mtakatifu sio tu kupitia kwa masomo sio tu kupitia kwa masomo ya dunia hii lakini kupitia kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu ni roho aga ile ile kaiguru litu niyo tutaidagia kuelewa mambo kuelewa jinsi ambavyo maisha yalivyo kuelewa ni wapi ambao tunaweza tunaweza tukafanya kazi ya hapa duniani ni yeye hutupatia hiyo kuelewa that is why he is saying enlightening the eyes of our understanding katika dunia hii watu kila mtu anatafuta higher power everybody everybody watu wanatafuta higher power because the moment umepata that higher power inaingia kwa maisha yako mambo yanaanza kubadilika wakati wowote macho ya watu ya kiroho imefungika na wamekataa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu wanaweza wakawa influenced na spirit zingi sana wanaweza wakawa controlled na maroho za kila aina bila ya wao kujua but wait a minute wakati mwatajazwa na uwezo wa roho mtakatifu ndio utaanza kusikia mtu akisema ya kwamba i didn't know ya kwamba nilikuwa mfungwa i didn't know nilikuwa nimefungwa na his spirit i didn't know ya kwamba nimekuwa under influence ya vitu ambao hazieleweki kwani na ukoro utiuraya muonaga ni kawaida nikwito kwa manado gukoro me guko mushi matari na kedo ni kawaida kwetu magraju wetu watu wamesoma na kuwa nyumbani ah ni kawaida hiyo ni kawaida lakini washa uwezo wa Mungu ukuje juu yao ndio utajua kile nacho kisema wengi wataanza kuona kube hapa ni kufugwa tumefungwa kube hapa ni ukuta tumewekewa haleluya ni roho mudheru aliguru walili wa spirit yagu kaguo cio walili maudu roho mudheru egi kwere na ikoni getha uigwe roho mudheru wo kali aliguru wa spirit ya shosho guo ucio walili maudu agikua praise the name of the lord kanida tumea ikano minds nikiorona turati ndiko ni maudu because we are using our carnal mind rational mind we must allow the holy spirit to influence our 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 living our 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 senses our minds so that even when we start praying sio kwa mpagilio ambao ni wewe mwenyewe umeweka inaingia kwa prophecy no gweda moji gwe mudenya wa umuthi ya kwamba wale wamejazwa na uwezo wa roho mtakatifu you cannot cast them you cannot cast them you cannot Praise the name of the Lord. 